guess who I found? Skating PJ and Jeffrey Buttle. And we're in a locked room. This is scary for everybody. It's intense. <laughs> I want to talk to you about Yuzuru Han Yu's short program in particular, before I move on to other things. Just set a new world record again at Autumn Classic. This was the program uh, with which um, he hit the other world records. Tell me, uh, how do you create, because you've tweaked that program, I believe, this year. We have, yes. So how do you make it so that you know where to get all the points. I mean, don't give away any trade secrets, obviously, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when, when you revisit a program, it's, it's great, you wanna make it fresh. Um, there's some nuggets in the program, though, that when, when we were going back, when revisiting it, I was just like, I can't see this any other way, and I don't wanna change this part, but there were some sections, and technically, he wants to up the ante, so obviously some changes needed to be made. Um, and he's amazing. I mean, he, he really doesn't just, you know, he knows it's a good program and instead of just resting on that, he's really pushing himself to improve um, and it's smart and I think it's necessary because because we are revisiting the program that there is a bit of pressure for it to be better and not, not just the same thing as it was. So I think that probably is a contributing factor. So world record scores as a choreography versus a skater, does it give you a moment where you go, you know what, I was part of that? Or does it give you a moment where you go, I did that? Or <laughs> what, what does it feel like? No, I, wouldn't, I definitely skating. wouldn't say I did that. Because um, <laughs> I know in my mind I could never do that, <laughs> what he's doing. Um, yeah, no, it's great to know that you. I was a part of it. I think that, you know, that plays a role. And um, yeah, it's yeah, everyone loves validation. And I think it validates the fact that um, we worked hard on putting that piece together. And he's worked very hard at training that piece. And uh, it's, it's nice to get that validation. Tell me a little bit about what it was like to train in 2005 for the 2006 Olympics? Ooh, um, I mean, I would love to say that it was all perfect and, you know, sunshine and rainbows. It was actually quite hellish. Your nose is growing, Pinocchio. I know, right? <laughs> um, it, it was difficult. I had a program that I really loved that just wasn't working, and so I try as I may, you know, trained it as hard as I could, and just for some reason I wasn't able to perform it the, the, the way that it deserved to be performed. Um, so that was a bit stressful, but I, I with saying that, I will say that um, whenever anyone asks me, like, was that the highlight winning the bronze at the Olympics? And and I think to myself, that moment was so fleeting. And what I remember the most was actually the training leading up to it and the moments and um, times that I shared with my coach, Lee, and my choreographer, David Wilson. Tell me a little bit about uh, the freedom that you get as a choreographer. Where does that kind of wild... Uh, reckless abandon come from in your head? Was it always there as a skater? I think so. I think I've always been a little bit um, of a wild card uh, in terms of not really having focus on the ice for training. Uh, when a skater's music would be playing, when they'd be doing their run through, I would be performing whatever I wanted to their music instead of really focusing on my training. It might explain my issues with the quad, I don't know. but. <laughs> Um, now, when it, you were a little kid, did you do that too? I did, I did. I, I just, I was so incredibly moved by music. I think it was really the driving force behind my motivation. Um, and so I think that is still true now. I think I'm just so driven by music and so motivated by that. And, and that's such a foundation for choreography. If you, um, as a choreographer, have you ever been brought a piece of music that you just say, I just, I, I got nothing? Or is there always something? You, you try your best. If they come with a piece of music that they're incredibly passionate about, they're just like, I really want to do this. I mean, it's so great to have that enthusiasm from a skater. You know, they're really invested in it. Um, and you know that you're going to get their most enthusiastic selves when they're performing it because they're so passionate about it that you try and find any redeeming quality that you can in the music. But there have been a couple times where I won't say I hate it, what an awful choice that is. I'll be a little bit more diplomatic and say like, what about this? It's very similar. <laughs> And uh, but it's it sort good. of like, you know, has the same <laughs> similar vibe to what you're wanting to skate to, but it's much better. <laughs> <laughs> That's very, very diplomatic. Yeah, Not I try exactly. To be. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Leslie. You raised another polite child. <laughs> um, what are you looking forward to next? Like, I mean, you're, you're obviously doing lots of choreography for competitive skaters, you're doing amazing stuff for show skating. Um, what's next for you? Oh, my goodness. Um, it's, that's a good question. I think I'm really still, I feel like in my career I'm in a position where I'm just saying yes to opportunities when they present themselves and <clears throat> even when there's things that I don't even know if I would like or I'm a bit scared to do, it's something that I always try and 
pressure myself to just say yes and see what comes out of that. Um, I'm loving the choreography and I'm just, you know, relishing in, in the fact that I get to make a career out of it. Um, I mean, this past month I'm coming off of a break, so I was basically, a, you know, watching TV and eating potato chips. Do you watch 90 Day Fiancé like I do? No, I haven't seen that one. I don't have it's cable, but ugh. I Netflix like it's nobody's business. Just you can like come it. over to my house if you need cable, ugh. okay? Yeah, maybe I will actually. Yeah, <laughs> actually, during the Olympics, I may have to to watch the. Watch well, it'd be some, great because I won't. Events. I won't be there. Oh, so I'll there's post a spare. It. Oh, great. Okay. There's a spare place you can stay, oh, and uh, you have to look after my dogs, but I'll that's okay. I'll keep your couch warm. Uh, that's kind of strange. That's <laughs> a little bit of <laughs> Jeff Buttle, you are a maniac. I love talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.